my name is Hudson. Hi, my name is Caitlin. And I'm Marcy. I'm Brandon. In July, we moved from Brühl in southern Germany, a very small town, to a very big city, one of the biggest in Germany, Cologne. Yeah, we've been here since July, and we have just been getting settled. The kids are in school. Um, Hudson started kindergarten October 1st, and we are managing, just like you, what second lockdown looks like, um, getting to know our city with limitations, getting to know our neighbors with restrictions. Um, but we're super excited to be in the city. We're super excited to be here. Um, our goal is to church plant here in Cologne. Um, we are currently taking a church planting course that is offered through the Northwest and North Pacific District of Foursquare. Um, so we're doing a lot of practical learning while we're managing our block. Yeah, and we're really spending time this first year getting to know our city, building relationships. Um, everything starts with a relationship here, and as Marcy mentioned, that process is a little slower than maybe we would like, thanks to restrictions and limitations on gatherings and connections and those kind of things. But uh, yeah, we're just really getting to know people so that we feel well positioned to plant uh, the type of church that will reach uh, the people that God wants us to reach here. But in the meantime, we've got some great ministry opportunities aside from just building a relationship. Uh, there's a surprisingly large homeless population here, and so we've started to build a relationship um, with some folks who live on the streets, and we're excited to be able to do what we can to reach out to them and bless them this winter. Um, and also our ministry that we had back in Bu, our coffee outreach to refugees, that continues to go strong. We're thank you for, thankful for the leaders there that were able to take that over um, and continue to work there. But we're still in relationship with those yeah. folks. And um, we'd like to be able to bless some of those refugee families again with Christmas presents like we were able to do last year because of your generosity. So thank you so much for Hub City for being a part of what we're doing. We really um, are just blessed by you. Thank you for including us this Advent season. We're really looking forward to following along in our Advent guide as well and celebrating Advent with you. We love the cookie recipe! Yes, we made the cookie recipe from last year's Advent guide and brought them all to our neighbors when we first moved into our house as a way to introduce ourselves and get to know them, and they were a big hit. They so them. that was awesome. So we use it all year round. But thank you so much, for Hub City. We're uh, yeah, we're just really thankful for you, and we appreciate all that you do um, to partner with what God is doing here in Germany. And uh, yeah, we look forward to hopefully next summer being with you in person. Lord willing. Um, have a very Merry Christmas, and from us here in Ger Germany, Fröhliche Weihnachten! Tschüss! Tschüss und auf Wiedersehen! Bye! I'm recording! Well, thank you so much to the Brzees for that update, and if you'd like to help support the Brzees ministry, we have four ways that you can give. For $20, you can provide Bibles for children and adults. For $50, you can provide winter coats for homeless men, women, and children. For $100, you can get Christmas presents for a refugee family. And for $500, you can provide the new projector for the church plant.